You can find the Clockwork Book in its lair deep below the city. The book contains information. It contains just about anything you might want to know. It keeps all this information in the form of stories. It trades the stories it knows for new stories traded by people who are a lot like you, and then their stories become part of the book. This sounds harmless, doesn't it? It sounds helpful, until you think about it. Because everything that the book learns becomes part of the book. And the book grows by trading the stories it knows to anybody who asks. Anybody. If that doesn't worry you, you're probably one of those people that natural selection hasn't noticed yet. Over the years, people have learned to avoid trading their stories with the book in spite of the fact that people, on the whole, really want to know things. And there must be a reason why they avoid the book. There's a way to find out for certain, of course. You just have to bring something to trade. By now you should have an idea of what the clockwork book is, or of what people think it is, in its own world. But in our world, The Lair of the Clockwork Book is an illustrated story that updates twice a week at my website, Thrilling Tales of the Downright Unusual. The story will come to an end in April of 2012, and then I'll collect it, with all of its 126 full-color illustrations, into a paperback book, just like I've done with the Thrilling Tales in the past. Now, you may notice that Rusty here is reading another edition of the book. It's a hardcover edition, printed on archival paper with stamped linen covers and a handsome dust jacket that we don't actually see here. I don't know what he does with those. The hardcover edition is completely imaginary, but it doesn't have to stay that way. What I'd like to do is to publish a high-quality, limited hardcover edition of the Lair of the Clockwork book with all of those 126 color illustrations from the retrofuturistic world of Retropolis, with its mad scientists, its rockets, its robots, and things with an unfortunate number of tentacles. So it'll be the kind of book that I used to read, and maybe that you used to read, back when books on paper were so universal that we didn't think twice about making them beautiful. Now all that sounds great, doesn't it? But it also sounds expensive. And when I say expensive, I mean expensive for one person, me, to do. It turns out not to be that bad a deal if you get a hundred odd people together. And yeah, they would need to be a little odd. So this looks like a job for Kickstarter. If you back my project at Kickstarter, you'll get a numbered, signed, limited edition copy of the Lair of the Clockwork book on archival paper with those nifty stamp linen covers and 126 color illustrations and a dust jacket. I promise, Rusty won't get his hands on yours. And you'll know that it never would have even existed if you hadn't chosen to be part of the project. I hope you do choose to be part of it, and I'm pretty sure Rusty does too. So I won't keep you. You can find out more about the story and the pictures at the Thrilling Tales website, and when you've done that, I hope you'll pop over to my Kickstarter project page and join in. If you're seeing this too late to get in on the hardcover edition, then you can still find the story and the book in paperback at Thrilling Tales of the Downright Unusual. That's where I'm going to be. Thank you.